Good morning. Today what we're doing is finishing our faux covers. Okay, I went a little nuts and made a bunch of these. And also, I just got this yesterday and I haven't done them yet because I didn't have time. I have a friend who works for Martelli, Linda Winner, and she's got these 10 and a half. She's got a 12 and a half. And then she's got an ice cream cozy. So I want to try those for probably, I don't know if I'll do them next week or I'll show you sometime, but I thought that was really cute. And she's got all the dots for the darts and she's got everything all figured out. So they're all even, but I'm going to continue with this that I did all week. Okay. I made these, what you want, make sure you comment today. I'm giving away some of these buddies, Bob and clips. I love these. Because what I like to do is, I have a few sewing machines. So I have different bobbins for different machines, obviously. So I like to do whatever I'm sewing with to put the bobbins with them. And I just like to put it all together so I know that I have a bobbin with whatever specific thread. So I'm going to give a few of these away today. I just really, really like them. Okay. First of all, what you need is hundred percent cotton without scrim adding. So I got some of this wrap and zap and it's by Pellon and it has no scrim in it because if you want to put it in your microwave, you can't have any scrim. You have to use a hundred percent cotton thread, hundred percent cotton fabric, obviously. And I have a friend that gave me a stack of her new line of layer cakes. It's called Petals with a T and Petals with a D. So here's the line. I think it's really cute by Jalili Studio. And she has her fabric is through Riley Blake. And it's just really, really sweet. Of course, these are reversible. And this even's got some stuff in it because we've used it for soup. I just think it's really cute. So here these are. Well, I made a bunch of them before I put my bling on it. So I de decided to put my three quarter inch quick points, little prairie points, and I just made them into rickrack. So I did that on this one and this on this one. So what you want to do is take a 10 inch square layer cake, whatever. Ten inch of your wrap and zap or hundred percent cotton without scrim. And then what you want to do is make sure they're on really nicely. is just mark a line here. Let me use the other side. This is the one that sharpens your rotary cutters. Like that. And here is this. Do in the center. Okay. And then you want to do in the center once again. Okay, so you sew, 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 and sew both of these. You make two of these. Okay. So I did exactly that. I've got it all sewn. But on this one, what I did instead of sewing it, I put my rickrack, my three quarter inch rickrack here and here 
on this one, I did my three quarter inch Rick Rack going this way and this way. Once you're done sewing it, you want to put, what um, marking pen are you using? I just have, this is the white marking pen by Clover. It's fine. And once you heat it, it goes away also. And you can do it through friction. Well, it's not friction. It's another company that I had that I can get white. And you can change the, the ink. And of course they have white to match white and they have all this stuff. And especially when you're doing black, you want to make sure that it's going to show. So there's that, okay? I just changed it to white. Okay, then all I did was stitch this on. I stitched one on, then I stitched the other one on. So you wanted to put it all the way through, okay? Then what you, when you're done with that, because I have, this is all in half. You wanna go in, put glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And let me change this back out so I can see. You want to go two inches from the end in and mark it. And then when you want to go one inch up and mark it. Then you want to make it like a dart. And I'm going to put a pin in it. You want to do the same thing on this side. Then you fold it in half this way. And you mark it two inches on this way. No, it's not working. Of course it's not working. I'll just use a regular pen. It's not going to be there anyway. It doesn't matter. And then one inch up. And then you just make your dart. Okay, pin, and you do it on the other side. And because you've got that stitching, it, it helps it fold in half. And if you want to do my three quarter inch Rick Rack, I have tutorials. So no worries, you can go on my tutorials. Then all I'm going to do is sew it just like you do. A dart, and I'm going to back it here. Same thing on the other side. Make sure that you comment so you can get, I'm going to give several of these away. I love these things. They're just awesome. Then 
Then you do this, this other dart. dart. These, are, these would be an awesome, my thread broke, an awesome gift for Christmas. Oh my gosh, it'd be so wonderful. That's what I think they give for Christmas gifts in the neighborhood. And my hubby even liked him. I was like, oh my gosh, he likes it. He goes, how cool is that? I said, yeah. I can't wait to try the ice cream one too. I think that's going to be pretty cool. shaped which I thought was kind of cool it looks like that okay so a couple of threads I got, I got a little vacuum, vacuum cleaner for down here so now I can just suck everything up then I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna cut it a quarter, quarter inch, inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. I don't realize this one. Quarter then I'm, then I'm going to iron, iron this open. open. Where, the, Where dart the dart is. And the, and the other ones, ones that I got from my friend, my friend Linda Winter, hers are rounded, rounded corners. corners. I want to I wanna try that out too. too. See what, See what I, I think of that. that. I just, I just got, got it yesterday, so I didn't have a lot of time. time. Okay, okay, now you put right sides, sides together. together. And you and just match, match the little darts. darts. Put some pins, pins in, it. in it. That's what I'm about. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh Lindsay and I have done so, so many, many gifts. gifts. <laughs> We've, We've been, been on caramels. Yes. We've, We've been, been on hot hats. The little, the little glass candy thing. thing. The little glass candy thing. thing. Homemade, Homemade ornaments. ornaments. Homemade, Homemade ornaments. ornaments. Homemade Homemade ornaments. Homemade Homemade ornaments. Homemade Homemade ornaments. Paint spilled all over. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lindsay and I. Oh, pretzels. We've done pretzels. We've done. Oh, oh my 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 Lindsay and I have <laughs> oh my goodness gracious we have <laughs> oh we need to start a lot sooner than we normally do like now yes but we always wait till the last dog is hung and then we work and work and work and work and work question our sanity all the time. Let's just put it that way. And you think, what the heck have we... What? It's entertaining and we get entertained. And because I won't remember to start and stop, I'm going to put a line here and a line here because I'll make this a little further down. Because I won't remember. 
if I don't put a stop and start thing, I make mistakes. Oh, you guys, I get so and so and so and I don't even think. I don't know. You know how you power so and you just go, 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 go. Oh, that's me. But this is such a cute little gift. The other ones I got was a 12 and a half and a 10 and a half. She does have one for layer cakes. So I'm going to order that so I can go cut, 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 cut. Okay, now I'm going to start sewing. Put it on a quarter inch. Um, I do a little feed. Put on my laser light. Okay. walking foot on this or else you will be it, it won't work there's no way I don't know if Lindsay wants these for Christmas gifts. Too much work, too many. She said, I think I'm going to for the neighborhood. If we start now, <laughs> she's taking my granddaughter to Colorado tomorrow to check out a college. truck there. Just hoping she hates it so she stays home. Yeah, we hope she hates it so she stays here and just goes up to the U. If it doesn't have enough restaurants, she won't do it. I permed her hair the other day. She was looking for all these dessert places and I'm thinking. We ended up at that churro place and the ice cream place that night. She loves ice cream. She is a little foodie. It comes naturally in this family, I must say. Then I go the furthest out. Yes, I can. I try to reach in and get all the way in. Make sure there's no other pins in this thing. all the way out, pull it through. Here, Lindsay, I could sew it and you could pull all the way through. <laughs> She's not laughing, girls. <laughs> Are you going to be in Novi, Michigan next month? Yes. Novi, and then I go to Nashville, my first time in Nashville. So that ought to be fun. Cool. 
I have a t-shirt at the place I stay that says, the state bird is a mosquito. Well, that's a state bird for Wisconsin too, believe me. When we were kids, we lived in this little, well, we lived in Nowhereville. And there was this popcorn stand that we used to go to. And my dad must have had some pretty sweet blood because I'm telling you, the mosquitoes used to zoom around him. And he would go, nobody else gets bit but me. And he would have all these mosquitoes. And he goes, why does a state bird have to be a flipping mosquito? And he'd come home with all these bites. And then he'd always go, I hope you think this popcorn was worth it because we had to drive like 12 miles to get this popcorn. Popcorn was amazing. My grandmother used to grow the best popcorn. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. And then she'd have us shuck it on her porch. Oh my gosh, the things my grandmother made us do besides all the other things she made me do. <laughs> oh. And when we got chicken eggs, if you ever broke one, you were deceased meat. Because that was money, money, money to her, you know? So, it's pretty interesting. Grandma was quite the gal. She never wanted to get popcorn, though. Oh, because she had dentures. That's why. Popcorn must be hard to eat with dentures. I don't know. In those days, instead of getting your teeth fixed, you just got dentures. She had dentures at like 21. First time I saw her take her teeth out, I, <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on here, your grandma? Because I had no, never seen anybody not have dentures. You won't be at the Tucson Court Show, will you? No. Uh -uh. I no longer have my vehicle that I used to have. And Lizzie's not my getaway driver anymore. She doesn't want to be my getaway driver anymore. She's well, got, it's all during swim season. She's got too much going on with the kiddos. And honey, I don't drive that well. Maybe when they all leave. When I had my... <laughs> first time when I had my bus, first time I drove it, I drove it into our garage and knocked off the camera off the top of the bus. And then our first trip to California. First trip to California. My husband drove and he, we were getting pennies. Pennies. <laughs> oh my. You have to tell him what happened. And he, there was a pole. There was a flipping pole. And he went and he said, I didn't see it. He backed into it, smashed the windows in our bus. And I was like so mad. I had the thing for three weeks. It was a brand new Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter. And I was so mad at him. And we're going to Disneyland. We had brought Conrad, one of the grandkids, because it was his birthday. And he smashed it. I was so angry. I was just ready to shoot him. Because he was tired and he was rushing and he wasn't in the mood. After and... he gave us the talk about what a good driver he yeah. was. Yeah, <laughs> he gave us the talk of what a good driver he was. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could have just killed him. But it is what it was. But we got it fixed. I think I had a low deductible. Okay, what I'm doing now is just putting it in a quarter inch, like we did it, you know, when we sewed around. And then when all I'm going to do is pull it out, I'm going to use my clover clippies because my other ones aren't wide. My hair ones aren't quite wide enough. They would spring their little spring. I tried it. And one of them got sprung. So all I did was fold in a quarter inch. Put my clover clippies. 
we're going to do is pull this out with a pin. All the way around. Yeah, Lindsay and I have had quite the adventures one time. We went to Houston. <laughs> it was Halloween. Houston was always around Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we were, people were zombies. They were pretending they were zombies. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. And oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we and were. When the truck tire blew and then we got stuck in snow. Oh my gosh. I had an F 350 long bed. With Jada, a trailer. With a trailer. Jada was with us. And all of a sudden, Lindsay said, Make sure everybody's sitting upright. Make sure everything's okay. And the tire went flying across the freeway. We're right before. We're in the canyon. Yeah. On the way home from Tucson, mm -hmm. actually. And we hit a snowstorm. And then we hit a snowstorm. So it took three days to get back. It took us three days to get home. Oh my gosh, we've had quite the adventures. We've had adventures and beyond. It was pretty funny. Well, maybe not. We had a good time. We had a good time. Oh, Lindsay Lou. She's always been my little getaway driver. We've taken the boys. We've taken the boys, the kids. They've always been really good at shows. Um, now they're tall enough they could help set up. Oh my gosh. I cut their hair, the boys' hair. Quincy is now what, 6'1? Yeah, he's close, to about six feet. Oh my gosh. And Conrad is probably five, five, nine, 13. He's 13. He's so tall. It's almost to the point I got to have them scooched down in the chair when I cut their hair. Oh, yeah. You took a picture of me by them and I'm like, holy cow. I knew I was short. It's pretty funny. All I'm doing, girls, is just pulling it out so I can sew around. Lindsay, we make 70,000 of these. <laughs> she's shaking, she's shaking her head, girls. She thinks we're lunatics. Well, maybe we are. Oh, we've even gone to Waco on the way to Tucson. Magnolia. And oh my gosh. Two hour detour. Yeah. And it was raining so hard we had to buy. Rain boots. You do everything big in Texas, you know? Rain is really hard. Okay, so there we go. So now all we got to do is sew the quarter inch all the way around. And we are done. I'm going to start where the opening is. Let me find it. Heck, I have a hard time telling where the opening is, girls. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just start anywhere. Break my needle, yay. Close. I think I have a 94 in here too. In fact, I know I do.
just broke it. Yep, I'm gonna put a hundred. I'm gonna put a jeans needle in. Yep, 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 girls. I will put a jeans needle in. Will you be at Kia Kiwa? Nope. The only shows I've been doing lately are um, original sewing and quilting because of the fact I don't have a bus or anything anymore. I gave all my um, curtains and stuff to my church. Because they wanted them or they needed them for something. And I'm going to use a jeans needle, girls. I knew I'd need them for something. What's funny is because I lived in the country for so long, I'm like store, stocked up like a store. Because if you forgot something on the farm, you were just. You didn't go shopping but once a month if you were lucky. So I always am a person of too much stuff. That's why Lindsay isn't. Because <laughs> I, I have too much stuff. I used to be more of a minimalist. I just have to come shop here. Yeah. Gosh, it's a true story. Well, when you do need something, you do. Mm -hmm. It's because of growing up in nowhere, though. Okay, now we're rocking and rolling, girls. like a hundred people. We didn't have these machines that thread the needle. Man, I can't see worth the crap anymore. wrong today girls because you're filming yeah because i'm filming and then of course i made all these in lickety split and i'm having issues and i made them all like bing 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 always when i film Shoot, what 
is going on? Is it defective needles? I've had batches before. Good thing I got a sucky bee. <laughs> Suck up all this stuff. I finally got a shop back down here, little one. Because I've been doing so much minkies lately. Because that's another Christmas gift. And Lindsay goes, no more blankets. <laughs> oh. The other night, Brian says to me, do you think we need any more blankets? I burst into laughter because he's always like, we need to give all this stuff away. We got way too many blankets. And I'm thinking, really? We only have closets full of them. You know what I mean? But I'm going, yeah. I'm going to reach out the whole thing here. There's a thread in here. See the crop? And then he goes, we need to get rid of these before something happens to one of us. But I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Lindsay will say, I don't want any. <laughs> Won't you, Lindsay? Mm -hmm. There we go. Than some couple rotten needles. You know? That has happened to me before. Today's a chilly day. I hope I don't like chili, but I think I'll make it anyways, because I really like chili. It was 24 degrees this morning. Was it 24 degrees, she said? I haven't been outside. Let's wipe a sweatshirt on. Because I was like, I am, I have been cold. It's always colder in the basement, too. Okay, here is this. So cute. Okay, I'm going to give away two for two different people. There's a couple different colors, three different colors in here, I think. I love these things. They are, I've gone through so many of these. Okay, the winners today. The first winner is Carrie, is it Teeman or Treeman? Teeman. And the second winner is Ruth Etheridge. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. 
God bless all of you and thank you and Halloween is almost here. Thank you so much.